It's 160 for Shake It. Ready. ready for action. Racing as well. Off the inside, the first of them to leave is Pretty Friar, although getting out on term shake it. Burn one down and snips away are both going to roll forward. And also charging around them is Blast. Further back is Pit to win and dropping out towards the rear is Vital Flirt. So they sort themselves out, travelling into the back and going along past the 1300 and Blast around the outside for young Osti Galati. Now free wheels to the front. Blast takes over and races three clear. Burn one down, snips away. Parnham took hold of Shake It and popped it back there travelling fourth. Over on the inside next of all is Pretty Fryer followed by Pitt to win who was joined on the inside by Vital Flirt. So Blast is the leader. At the 950 they're about to wheel off the back straight. Blast making play a length and a half as he takes a little breather now. Burn one down goes up running second to sit there at its flank. Snips away a length away third. A similar margin then came the odds on pop Shake It who's there fourth outside Pretty Fryer. Pitt to win and Vital Flirt down on the inside is last of all as they headed past the 600. Nearing the home corner, Blast is the leader. Burn One Down is going to test it now as Derek ranges up on the outside with Burn One Down to put it to Blast. Parnham's about to pull to the outside with Shake It. Snips away, ridden along, followed by Pretty Fry who dropped off them just at that point. And then Pit to into the outside and getting up along the cutaway. Vital Flirt. Well, they come down to the 250. Blast, Burn One Down, Shake It have come together. It's Shake it on the outside hitting the lead from burn one down who wanted to lay in there and having to check behind it pretty fryer parnham's really having to lift shake it vital flirts charging through along the rail it's shake it vital flirt burn one down shake it proved just a little too good shake it has one from vital flirt burn one down between them and then further back pretty fryer who got turned sideways at the 250 mark from blast in behind them snips away and trailing them home is pit to win Number six, the winner, had to be shaken up, shake it. Making it two wins now from both starts and uh, getting the 1700 will. Getting right up along the inside, Vital Flirt continuing her good form. And uh, between those, Burn one down and uh, burn one down. They're getting on top of Pretty Fryer there who copped a nasty old check nearing the 150 metre mark. Shake it prevailing, however, by Universal Ruler from that former very good metal Stormare Lady Sharifa, owned by Impressive Racing, along with Madame's Perkins and Buckton Hill, along with McCleary, McGahan, Pint, Hobbs Green, Fran Cicini and Humphreys, Wood Carter and DGR Racing. Trained by Darren McAuliffe, ridden by Chris Parnham. Wins from number five, Vital Flirt, the Vital Equine Mare from Flirt with Time for owner trainer Kayla Farrell, Simone Altieri aboard. Three burn, one down by Toronado from Zarenza, raced by Andy Phelan, ridden by Maddie Aderick. For trainer Adam Durant, fourth, number four, Pretty Friar. I fancy, though, that we might hear a little more. There could be a minor protest as Burn one down uh, certainly laid right in on Pretty Friar and O'Donnell had to check rather severely. Margins were half a length by half a head, half by half a head, and 144.55 being the time there, 35.75 the sectional. So Shake It gets through and enjoyed a perfect run right from the outset there. Always enjoying a lovely sit just off the pace and had to be muscled over the line stepping into a 1700 at only its second career run. Gets the job done though at 155 at the finish of it all. Vital Flirt 21 and uh, back there burn one down 550. Might just throw Pretty Fryer into the mix at 440. So uh, there might be a little more heard here after the running of race number two. The third for the day, the Mrs. Max Maiden, 14. There's your trouble, is the scratching. It'll be here on Saturday at the Blackheart Bart Stakes Day card. Let's go to the yard here and catch up with Brittany. It's two for two now for Shake It. Indeed, and a sight to be seen in the yard. Trainer Darren McAuliffe celebrating by shaking it. He, uh, nice dance moves there, Darren, but a nice performance by this horse who justified favouritism. Yeah, he made pretty hard work of it, to be honest. He's probably had enough. Um, but, um, yeah, funny run race, to be honest. It was uh, topsy-turvy the whole way. And, uh, 
Uh, Justine's horse very unlucky. It probably should have won, but uh, yeah, we take them when we can get them. Do you think Chris would have been giggling to himself in a way with seeing that they were just uh, putting a bit of pressure of, uh, on each other out in front and he was able to sit in just behind them? Yeah, I think so, and I think more so that uh, we had um, uh, Donga's horse, uh, Justine Erkland's horse, trapped inside us. You know, uh, it did get look like it was going to get a clear split, and then it shut up on it uh, uh, pretty severely in the straight, and um, uh, it probably should have won, quite frankly. But uh, look, we'll take him when we can get him. But uh, yeah, he made hard work of it, to be honest. I think he's probably had enough this horse. So if he goes for a break now, what are the aspirations later on in the year? I don't know. He's still big, raw and gangly. He doesn't know how to let down properly. Um, yeah, it's just, um, I don't really know. He's, you know, he's, he's uh, definitely a Saturday-class horse, probably not far off a stakes horse. Uh, if he improves, which looking at him physically, you would imagine he would, uh, yeah, he might, might make the grade. 1,700 metres today. Can you see him stretching out over even further? Oh, hard to tell. I think he probably just got that. Um, yeah, just a little bit hard to tell. He's just a bit immature at the stage, so hard to get a real grasp on him. Well, looking forward to seeing how he spells and how he returns. Well done. Lovely. Thanks, Britt. Darren McAuliffe there after the victory of Shake It. And nice to hear the improvement that is still to come with this horse being immature. Last one back in the yard as well uh, as Chris Parnham unsaddles. So he'll head for a uh, well-deserved spell now after making it two from two, this son of Universal Ruler out of Lady Sharifa. And it uh, will be nice to see just how he returns once he has had that break. And Chris Parnham will catch up with Scott. He certainly will, Britt. He's just weighing in now, and Darren McAuliffe's giving him uh, a bit of uh, bit of a chatting too. D Max always got a bit, bit, bit to say, doesn't he, Chris? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. What about this horse today? The punters thought it was a put-in, take-out job. Jumped a dollar fifty, but pretty hard work of it in the end. Yeah, look, um, probably should have never jumped that that sort of price point at second start, seventeen hundred. But nevertheless, he's done a really good job, and um, he's a horse on the way up. Darren seems to think he's probably had enough. Is that what it feels like? Yeah, look. Um, not so much physically, but he's probably mentally not quite there yet. So um, I think a break, and now he's had that race experience, I think he'll come back a better horse. If we go for Danny Morton later, first up, no trial. What's your expectation for her? Not really sure. I haven't ridden her this preparation, but um, she was pretty good last prep, winning a race. And, um, yeah, no, if she brings that form, she'll be hard to beat. Good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you. Well, Shake It takes out race number two, getting the day off to a good start for impressive racing. Darren McAuliffe and Chris Parnham.